Hello again, YouTubers on with SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel with part 25 of our SpongeBob Adventures in a Jam playthrough. We last left off here in the backyard of King Krabs' castle, fixing the quote unquote lava pits in the ground. So today we're going to continue making our way onwards. We're going to encounter the dragon jellyfish or jellyfish dragon, whichever way you want to say it. And there he is. So, Patrick, look, the dragon is out of his lair. Whoa, that's scary. What are we gonna do? I don't know. If the king was right, this dragon can resist Krabby Patties. If we feed it some, it probably, I don't know. Nope, but it's worth a try. Good thing we have a few Krabby Patties on us. Were you hiding those from me? I'm sure he was. Here goes nothing. You, Mr. Dragon Jellyfish, would you like a Krabby Pate? I'm sure it would. So yeah, uh, quest complete, watch your step. Okay, so we can feed it the Krabby Patty or Krabby Patty. And uh, nope, we gotta make another one, great. Alrighty, we have our patties and now we can make the Royal Krabby Patty, also known as the Krabby Patty. Um, yeah, and that means just waiting for a little bit more. So let's keep waiting. Back to the jellyfish dragon, we have enough Krabby Patties, he is fed and happy. Also again, uh, and he could, he's gonna sleep, but um, I really like the background, the sky, the background. We did it, it's a good thing the dragon loves Krabby Patties. Why do you keep saying Krabby Patty like that? Yeah, local color, Patrick, come on, we need to keep searching for that precious metal. You know, I could do with a Krabby Patty. Later, Patrick, we have achievements to achieve. We sure do, Patrick. It's a hungry dragon quest complete. And now we can continue with our treasure hunt. So we have to make our way over to uh, the cave or something where the metal is hidden. So I'm recording my voice over in retrospect. I'm, I recorded the gameplay before I recorded my voice over. And uh, yeah, it's actually pretty big. Uh, the map for this area is definitely the biggest we've had. Uh, throughout this playthrough and it makes sense you know the further you go the more adventures you're going to be able to go about which is always great so um that just means we have to clear a little bit more stuff as, at the same time because that is the nature of this game so let's do that we are running out of energy here so i think oh gary comes in clutch there with our uh quick energy refill although it wasn't that much because he only gave us like 10 so, uh, back to Bikini Bottom, I'm going to quickly do the Sugar Squeeze or Candy Vending Machine, and then Sugar Squeeze, yep. Alrighty, and we should have a full tank, so let's head back to King Krabs' castle, and then I'm going to be trying to get through as much of the map as possible, as I, I always say that, uh, but as I'm right now, this video, part 25, is going to probably bring us almost to the conclusion of the the zone so i hope to finish this area in part 26 and then we can move on yeah we have a giant cave sign here as well uh, which is very appropriate because we are heading into a cave look at that patrick we made it i'm wondering why they just keep ignoring squidly hello boys so hagfish is back Ah, monster! Patrick is just Madame Hackfish again. Potato, potato, SpongeBob. What? <laughs> I hear you were looking for some precious metals. We sure are. You have incredible hearing. This cave isn't for little softies like you two. I can help you, but it's gonna cost you. Well, uh, that's a trade right there. I suppose we could use a guide. Is she actually going to follow us? That would be pretty cool. Smart. Come with me if you want to live. Not really. So she's not always there, which is a bummer. But hey, you know, we kind of asked for too much, right? Look at how broad this cave is. Like the entrance is way larger than the, um, the little cave entrance that we saw earlier. So the main point here, uh, aside from completing Treasure Hunt Quest, is to light up the torches and return to the castle. So apparently there's like a shortcut to the castle, but we have six torches here and we need to, well, light them up, light them all up. We need some coal to do that as well, which I believe was found in the castle. 
So yeah, we need a little bit more coal, which you know it's kind of convenient how there is the castle entrance, a uh, castle hop thingy passage, whatever you want to call it. Um, it doesn't really make much sense because like the cave is over on the right side and the castle is on the left, but you know it's probably just a underground passage that we will never get to see. I really want to see it though. You know this kind of cave reminds me of the. Um, I'm not even sure what it's called, actually. The Wailing... something. Uh, but yeah, in Pet Pet Park. <laughs> I'm talking about Pet Pet Park a little bit more nowadays because this just really reminds me of it. In fact, this spider here reminds me of the spider in the Wailing Tunnels, yeah. Be that as Giant Sea Spider, this place makes no sense. Yeah, why is he there? So Hagfish is here again. Oh, that's just Ignatius. He's a friend of mine. Could you... Telling the scooch sign, he's kind of blocking the path. Yeah, so if you do me a favor, I can probably ask him to step aside. Well, what favor might that be? What is it you need? I need the legendary gold doubloon from the throat of the giant eel. Wait a minute, this is basically Legends of Bikini Bottom. <laughs> if you promise to get that for me, I'll keep Ignatius out of your hair. Say yes, SpongeBob, I don't want any spiders in my hair. He doesn't even have hair. We'll do it. Okay, so yeah, this cave is pretty big as well, um, and I'm not surprised at this point because I was, you know, basically wrong earlier about how I thought we were going to be done with this map, but apparently not. We're still here in King Grabs' Castle Zone, or the zone known as King Grabs' Castle. So let's make our way through these obstacles, exploring the cave. Again, some guide... Um, directions essentially telling us what we really need to remove and we have a waterfall okay i mean well caves do have waterfalls so i don't think that's surprising huh what are we gonna do about this waterfall underwater we have to figure out a way past it maybe we could turn it off well genius ain't that and how thus thou uh, proposeth to do with that I'm just spitballing here, but maybe we can find a knob or something to turn the water off. That's so crazy, it might just work. I hope so, because I don't have any other ideas. Well, we do have that cog on the bottom right there, so apparently there's a valve. I mean, what are the odds that there is a waterfall valve in the middle of a cave, right? Okay, so a precious... um. No, right. We need to complete lots of water quests. So over here. Whoa. All the way over there. I guess that's where the golden eel will be. Because that's the quest we collect on. But you can see the map here. We have that zone over there on the bottom. We have the entrance. We have that further up area where there's like treasure over there. Reminds me of the treasure room. The hall of treasure in Atlantis from Atlanta Square Pantas. Anyways, let's start by getting those uh, evolve parts. We do need some chalk stone as well. So let's quickly get that. That's one piece. Okay, so we can fix that. The next one, we need cog wheels, eight of them. And they're actually over at the bottom area of the map. So an old mechanism, fix the old mechanism right there. I wonder what a, that even does, but um. You know, we'll go, we'll find out. Right back here, we have our energy recharge, and now it's time to make our way to that valve, which we needed to fix. Okay, so there we go. Actually, that was pretty simple. We had all the ingredients, and somehow it activates a bridge across the underground river. So lots of water. Fix the valve, collect eight valve parts. Right, now over here, let's clear off some chums, some rocks. Trying to make our way over there. It's a little bit hard to see what specific things you need to clear in that kind of case, but uh, I just guess we just have to, you know, try everything and see what works. Sometimes I'm not really convinced anymore that specific items actually unblock the whole thing without you having to remove anything else. I feel like in a lot of cases you have to remove a bunch of items not just the one they're pointing to, um, which is not bad. It just means, you know, you have to use a little bit more energy and that takes a little bit more time for it to recharge, of course. 
Okay, so we have our recharged energy courtesy of those uh, of the vending machine and the sugar squeeze cart. So let's remove that. Okay, we got a little closer, and there is that cogwheel. So I guess that's just one. Yeah, it's one. Man, this is gonna take forever. So that one right there, right there, and we got some treasure, some coins. It's always nice. Gonna remove that one. Gary also has some energy for us, which is always great. Energy recharged. Okay, let's continue here. Removing all the random debris in the way. Okay, and I don't think we're going in the right direction. Yeah, that's probably we should probably go north since we were directed north. Hopefully that is the one. Seriously, which is it? <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to save our energy here, conserve it because I want to get through as much as possible with one dose of energy, but looks like we're back to eight, so it's time for another recharge. There we go, 117 energy, and now we can make our final trek over to the next Volve part. Which is it? Is it gonna be that? No. Nope. There we go. We also have two, I think. Was it one or two? I think it was two, right? Anyways, uh, we do have another one over there at the corner, which is great. So four, yeah, all right. So those, uh, that lot over there, three of them. And now more energy is needed. There we go, recharged. A couple more treasures. There we go. Next segment here. Got more chum. And no more energy, great. Okay, so I think we do have to just go for the candy. The only frustrating thing here is that I have to keep cutting this into small little parts because the energy runs out so quickly. Uh, and it looks like we're going to be very short on the sugar squeeze and the candy vending machine as well. So that's not great. But that is the gameplay loop in this game. So that's a bummer. All right. Our next Valve part is collected. We have three more. Next one over there. Past the chains. And well, that was convenient. All three of them were there. Awesome. Wait, was that all three? No. So one was the bigger one and the other was the smaller one. So just one more on the corner. And we are out of energy. How nice. So just gonna have to wait for that to recharge. First, okay, let's get that final piece of Volve part, whatever you want to call it. And it is now time to fix the Volve. Okay, repair. There we go. It looks really medieval, which does make sense because, you know, this is supposed to be in the medieval times and all. And we somehow turned off the waterfall. Or, I'm, again, you know, I suggested that late earlier. Like, how is there a waterfall underwater? It should be just like a goo fall. But, well, whatever. One recharge at the sugar squeeze and candy bending machine later. By the way, now we really are short on stuff for that. We have Madame Hackfish. On, well, at the end of the cave here. I can't believe you found a way to shut up the waterfall. Okay, I'm surprised as any- I'm as surprised as anyone. Well, not really. Any idea how we can get across this river? Those stalactites look pretty loose. Maybe we can make a loud noise and knock them into the river. Thus creating a makeshift bridge. I'm gonna- Yeah, Patrick, you never cease to amaze me. That was what I was thinking, like, you know, those uh, little sparks of genius. I could try playing loud note on my clarinet. That wimpy thing wouldn't be loud enough. We need to make it louder. Maybe if we had a megaphone? I know where we can make one. Oh, so that's why they had the megaphones in the um, crafting area. What's next quest complete? First of all, what? Why is there a megaphone in the middle of a cave? Like, what? So, you know... I don't really expect the show to make sense, but this game... 
yeah, I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> it's just like mixing stuff from the present and the future, or present and the past, which is just so strange because, like, megaphones probably didn't exist in medieval times, did they? I'm gonna have to craft some of these megaphones. We'll be back once they are all done. Okay, so the megaphones are done, as well as our dark wooden boards, which are just crafted for the fun of it, because I'm not sure if we need them anymore. Uh, speed that up, because why just wait for one piece, right? Now we can fix the megaphone or the loudspeaker, and it's time for Squidly to play a couple notes from his clarinet, doohickey. Uh, okay, so he's gonna do that. Uh, funny animation, although we don't have any sound effects, so it kind of falls flat a little bit. I really wish they would add that. Are they gonna do it? I'm not sure, but we got the thing done, okay? So the stalactites just came down. Patrick, we did it! Is that like a swiper, we did it kind of mode? thing did we i just heard a big crash i hope it didn't wake any large mythical beasts let's make some noise quest complete okay follow the stalactite passage clear debris right there and hopefully we can make it to the end i don't think it's too far off from here so that's a good thing just one more i think that bunch of coral or not madame hackfish shows up though so what's she gonna tell us? The giant golden eel is awake! Sure is, I can see it. Aw, oh, nuts. Now's your chance to get the gold doubloon. How do we get it out of his throat? Give him crabby, crabby pâtés. Then when his mouth is open, whack him with something and he'll spit it out. Eels hate being whacked. Okay, fair enough. Squilly, give me your horn. Not my precious livelihood. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. Like, why did that even trigger when we weren't even there yet? Okay, so let's quickly clear the path and make our way through. There we go, so the eel. And it's one of those spinny things, so I have to go get more Krabby Patties, which means this is the end of the video. So make sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys again in part 26. Hopefully, we will be able to complete this zone in the next one. So yeah, I'm going to get these Krabby Patties or Krabby Patties prepared, and we'll continue next time. Till then, bye!